29th of August, um, on my way back from club, I went out, go at the club. I didn't drink because I don't used to drink. So on my way back from club, I was tired. I was tired driving down home. The only thing I can just remember is I saw the signboard to my house, to road to my house, that is Cyberjaya. So I'm coming back home. The only thing I can just remember is I I was off. I can't even remember anything. Mm. After that, from club that I'm coming back from, I, the only thing I can remember is I saw the signboard of my house, like this is the road to my house. And unfortunately for me, when I would open my eyes, I found myself in the hospital, that is Putrajaya Hospital. So I was shocked. My leg was hanging, bandage on my leg, iron in my leg. So all my friends around, my girlfriend, Jolene, my friends, Longman, Larry, Rose, Arangi, Arangi's wife, Arangi's kids, like many of them that I can't even remember or may, made mention of their name. So for good two days, the only people I see, those are the people, and people keep on coming, but I can't remember anything. My memory is even lost. So like fourth day, they came to me like uh, my um, our brothers too that they used to come and see me like Ade, Sexy, Ibrahim, um, Nii, Scorpio King, all of them they are there with me. They always come and check me. Like the fifth days, the fifth day I have to ask them that like, what is going on that like, I can't even remember. I keep on asking them that like, why people what happened to my leg. So they have to tell me that fine that on my way back from um, from the club in the morning, I was off, I slept off while driving. And in the car, I text beside me, at the back of me, I have um, these, uh, my, the people that went to club together, we didn't come back together, but they are in the taxi. That is Blessed Child and um, Lekon. Those are my two junior brothers that went out together. And luckily for me, Deep inside of me, when I was coming back from club, I was like, I want to go and sleep a little bit before I go to church to go and serve my God. I think that is the only thing that makes God to save me because He see my heart. So the only they now explained to me that what happened that they had my back. They saw me the way the car was running, but they know I don't drive fast like that. But then me, I was gone, even sleeping. I didn't even know. So the, he, he told me, Junior told me that. He has been calling me for like, he gave me like 50 missed calls, but I didn't pick up. But as soon as they said they tried to catch up with me, with the car, maybe they can tell me to slow down because the way I was running. But before they get to me, I uh, got my ass there already. The car, they said I moved out from the road to go and eat a tree, and the car got fired immediately. Then I was even gone, I didn't even know anything. So later they told me that they have to wait for 5-10 minutes to see maybe I'm, I'm going to come out, but I didn't come out. So they have to rush down to the car to save me out from the car. So thank God for God, there's one Mali man beside at the road corner. He didn't even answer to the stop, but he just picked up his phone to call um, ambulance to come and help me out. So they said they dragged me out from the car. I was gone. I can't even breathe. So they keep on eating my chest, both of them, for like five, ten minutes. I didn't even know anything. But later on, I came back. So I was like, I want to sleep. They should pull up my shoe, I want to sleep. They should pull up my shoe, I want to sleep. So they told me that that is what happened. And the ambulance came, but the car is still on fire. The car is still on fire, and I didn't even know anything. So this is how they told me at the hospital. And me, even my memory, I can't even remember anything. The only thing I, I have in my head is I can only see Cyberjaya, Cyberjaya. But uh, God really showed me love through my friends because then mo money that I have in my pocket is just like 1,000 ringgit. But the way I, they paid in the hospital for my first operation, because I went through two, uh, first, uh, two operations, one immediately that day on my on my laps. I didn't even know anything. One. So later they explained to me that I'm going to pay so so amount. I was shocked that fine. In Malaysia I don't have up to that because they said all oh, the money I'm going to pay that is almost eighteen to twenty thousand ringgits. 
I was like, I was shocked that where did I want to get the money? But God shows me love through, show me love through my friends. They contribute money. They go to people. People turn up for me. My beloved brother Scorpio, Larry, my friend Longman, Rose, RNG, most of my friends I can't even remember. I, I can't remember their name now. I can't. I didn't mention their name, but I really, really appreciate them because their name is always in my heart. So they turn up. They contribute money for me. Along the line, I got to know that they told me that I'm going to go through another operation, and I, they told me that the operation I'm going to do that for three hours. So fine. People keep on coming, like people that I didn't even expect. Um, DJ Flavor, uh, DJ Eyes, um, Juries, um, them, uh, Emilia, Rachel, Morino, and everyone, everybody, like people that I didn't even expect. Femi Pochi, Papi Smiley, uh, Lala, with their kids, they keep on coming. Every day, every day. They keep on coming every day, like, Thanking God for me, bringing food for me, and my woman was beside of me. That's Jolene. She really tried. I really appreciate her. I really, really appreciate her because she was there all through. And I really, really appreciate my godson, RNG son, because that day that they said I have to go for my second operation, they told me it's three hours. But when I went for the operation, we spent nine good hours. People are crying. Me, I didn't even know anything. Even the small boy, they said he was sick that day because he was asking after me that where I am, he was sick, he can't even eat. Till I was out from my operation after nine hours and um, my girlfriend called his parent that uh, I'm out. So his parent told me the second day that that is the time the boy now to tell them that he's hungry, that he wants to eat. So I was, I, I, I was a living testimony in everything, in everything, but I keep on giving thanks to God because I never knew that this kind of thing is going to happen and I don't have money up to what they asked me to pay but luckily for me before I'm out from the um, from the hospital my bills was paid like everything God really showed me everything was paid like even extra money that they asked me to pay insurance didn't come over because they said I have to pay myself they will pay me later up to now they didn't even pay me but God keep on showing me love so I keep on going to hospital to check on myself and people keep on coming to my house my friends mayaki my very good friend he would buy food cook in his house bring for me mickey like everyone that i can't mention they they always come to my house to come and show me love to appreciate what god have done for me one time my beloved brother they pray for me church pastors they came to pray for me pastor Ima, um brother Ima. Manny, he really tries a good brother. Kupi, Abe, Lincoln, um, um, Opon, my brother. They really, all of them really showed me love that people that I can't even remember. So uh, there was a day I went for my checkup and my leg, I have implants in my leg. I can't fold it. Uh, but my doctor told me that the implant is going to be there for a year and a half. I was shocked. So I, I asked my doctor, so. How I can't fold my leg, how am I going to do it? And he told me, fine, you have to go through another operation. That is um, 5th of December 2014. I was shocked. The day that he was telling me this, I've paid my rent, pay everything. I don't have money my, with me again. The only money left in my pocket is just 250 ringgits. Money to pay to see my doctor and money to go back home. That is all I have. But he told me that you have to go through the third operation because you can't bend your leg. I was, I was like, okay. So how much is it going to cost? My doctor told me it's going to cost six thousand to seven thousand ringgit. Fine. Okay. I was just silent, and he told me you only have two space left. That is on the 10th or 29th of December. And I told him, doctor, I can't come on the 10th because I don't have any money. My school, I just pay for my school because I pay a lot for my school too. My school fees, that's almost 13,000 ringgit. That I just paid that for my school and I just pay my rent too. That I don't have much, that I have to think about it. But a sound came to my head. Just tell him, keep on the 29. On the 29, I will come. 29, he will come. Yeah, I said, doctor, I will come. He told me, I only have one space left, but I'm going to keep it for you. You should be here 6 a.m. 29. And I said, okay, fine. There is God. That's what I told him. 
uh, doctor there is God, I will come 29. But luckily for me, God has been so good to me. I never know that he's going to bless me, he's going to make me happy this way. I didn't do anything, I'm not special, but he makes me special. He favored me a lot. That even sometimes when I'm inside, I look at myself, I look at all the pictures of the car, I feel like crying. But one thing that always comes to my head is give thanks to him. Give thanks to him. Before 29th, before 29th, God showed me love. I got the money for my operation. I called my doctor. I'm coming 29th to come and do my operation. Fine, 6 a.m., I left my house to the hospital for my operation. And everything went, I was fine. Everything, I was there till 4th of January. I did my new year there. But still, at the hospital, God still showed me love. Like everything went, 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 went fine. I can't even, I don't even believe that I came for operation. I was like, I'm in the resting room, just away from home. Because everything was just cool with me. I didn't even believe, even later when I was disturbed, when I go home, people were asking me, when I showed them my operation, they are shocked. So you went through all this, and you're like, I said, fine. I didn't even feel anything. I didn't even feel anything. But so I keep on thanking God. I keep on thanking God. And I really thank my friend that came, that stood by me at the hospital too. She really tried. She's a good friend. And God, God Almighty should bless them. God should grant them their desire. All my friends, all my friends, both small, old, short, long, I really love them all. And I can't stop thanking God for their life because they really tried for me. God used them. They showed me they are not ordinary friends, but we are blood, we are family. And I can't stop thanking God every day of my life. God showed me that where there is no hope, is always there. Where we think people are going to show up, is going to come in another way. But one thing is, and one thing that I, do, I don't want to forget, I would like people to hold on their left hand. No matter how the condition you are, no matter how, don't complain. Don't complain. God knows the perfect time. God is always on time. Because I remember one thing that before I left for the club, I don't I have clothes in my house, I have everything. But I keep on complaining to God that I want to shop. I need money to go for shopping. I need money to get a car. I need money to go out. But God gave it to me because I complain too much. Even the clothes that I bought. All the shopping that I did, the car that I got, everything got damaged five hours from the time I bought them to the time I had my accident. Everything gone that I can't even believe. Things that I'm complaining about, disturbing God, that I want to do this, that, that. I have more than enough, but I didn't appreciate him. But he really showed me that, okay, let me give it to you. Let me see what you will do. And he gave it to me. Just because I keep on complaining. But it's not the right time to do, to my own knowledge. It's not the right time. But the time I am, I'm having fun. But not the right time to complain. I'm even better than, more than some people. I'm not condemning them, but I'm praising God. But I complain, I disturb him. And he give it to me. Just, it's not up to five hours that all those things happen. Time I got the car, got the money for fun, got my shopping, and I went to club. Everything was gone. But God really showed me he knows the right time. But thank God for my life. I'm a living testimony. I keep on thanking him every day. Yeah, I am. They gave me, uh, I decided not to use WeCheck and they gave me two crutches. Now I'm using one. I'm using one. But I know very soon this one I'm going to drop it. So I have much, I don't have much to say that. Thank God. I will always give him the praise. Jesus is great. Jesus is Lord. Thank you very much. And he's like, um, Lord Fresh and his wife. Um, Glamour girl, she's a very good sister. She came to the hospital to check on me and she prayed. I really, really felt a prayer in my body. God will bless her and her husband. I really, I'm really, really happy to have people like that around me. Um, my brothers, um, FBI, EAB, Agba, people that I can't remember their name, they're in my heart. They are, they are always in my heart. Um, Annabelle with his wife, they are like my family. They have been with me since I left the hospital. They stay with me in my house. They left their house, come and stay with me. 
Annabelle and his wife, they stayed with me more than two months. They really, really tried. So I can't stop thanking them too. Ade is a good brother. Scopio, all the assistants, Larry, Larry, Longman, Rose, Arrangi with his family, every one of them. People that I can't make mention. I have them in my mind and in my memory. But a lot of names that I can't even remember. Even people that I can't even that I didn't even know that they really intervene in it by contribution. Even Africano, I give my thanks to Africano or Tsumba. They all show me love as if they were blood. I really, really happy. I really happy and I really, really appreciate them for everything. People that I can't make mention, they should not get mad at me. Oh fresh, Nino, all of them. God remember you all, and God will surely bless you all for doing this, for standing by me. It's a good thing that I will never forget in my life. God will bless you all, and this will never happen to any one of us again in this life. Glory be to God. Thank God for giving me this second chance. I'm really, really grateful. Thank you, Lord. You have the ability in you to know all truth. You have the ability to know all truth. You have the ability to know all truth. Amen. So this time, I want you to be a serious Christian and be able to pick what God is saying to you that time. And that will be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. One more time, lift up my hands while I pray for you. I'm not going to shout. I'm not going to do anything. But I'm going to pray for you. And the result will be for what? Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We say in your word that confirming the word of your servant, of your servant, and performing the counsel of your messengers. Our Father, King of Glory, God of our Father, Adebuye, each and every one of us here, anyone in this very auditorium that is about to take one particular wrong step right now, I cast on it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Our Father, you may not to understand in your, in your work, I am the Lord that lifted thee to profit, which lifted thee by the word that she does hold. Our Father, I pray that you direct everyone here in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. Our Father, anything blocking their ears to hear from you or to pick that still small voice of the Holy Spirit, our Father, I command their ears to pop open in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. Our Father, remember what you said in your word. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Right now, our Father, as many of them, their hands are lifted up. Those who want money, receive it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Any project you are going in that seems impossible, right now, by the ocean of the Spirit, the solution of what to do to get the desired result is coming to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Our Father, your Lord said that you will have whatever you say. There shall be no ask this year. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, our Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 
Jesus Christ. Thank you for your word. Thank you, our Father, for your word. Stay on earth. Thank you for us. Give me praise. Give me praise. Give me praise. Come on, give me praise. Give me praise. Give me praise. Give me praise. Thank you, Father. 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 Thank you, Father
congratulations to all of you standing here. I wish you a splendid um, birthday this year. And your entire this new season will bring forth goodness and blessing on your life in the mighty name of Jesus. As I always say, this cake is a symbol of sweetness and it's going to bring time to your life sweetness in the name of Jesus. Let us, um, please, can you come together so we can call the cake? Mommy. Please come together. You have to hold hands. And we're going to be cutting this cake as usual. After spelling the name that is above all name, that we all know, J-E-S-U-S. So as I call on the J-E-S-U-S, I want the entire church to support with a chorus. Hallelujah! Please, can you give us a joyous day? change the local life. 